Agriculture is the lifeblood of the New South Wales Riverina community of Griffith, and no one knows that more than Mayor and local grape grower John Dalbroy. John, many thanks for your time. Pleasure. What effect does a prolonged heatwave have on the grapes? It, it will have uh, quite an effect for this prolonged uh, week of hot weather. Uh, the grapes will have a tendency to shut down. At the moment, uh, the, the grapes are producing a Beaumet level of between 10 and 10.5. And uh, the wineries would prefer that from 12.5 to 13% Beaumet. But we've experienced it before with only one or two hot days where the, 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 the vine just shuts down for a while and says, well, gee, something's happened here. And uh, then it takes them a while to get going again. And the end result is that uh, there's an effect on quality. And uh, the, the other problem will be sunburn. If you see an exposed bunch such as this uh, that does not have enough leaf cover, they will also burn. They, they will shrivel up and the wineries won't like that because uh, they'll obviously assess the crop and discount us accordingly. So the, the farmer cops it two ways uh, and it's distressing for the farmer that technically there's nothing we can do about it other than just try and keep uh, the water up to them. Those farmers that have uh, drip irrigation, I'm sure most of them like we have, the pumps are going 24-7 to keep, keep them nice and moist and those with flood irrigation are busily irrigating at the moment. So that's the best we can do. But as a whole area there may even be an effect on our citrus because they don't like this sudden jolt of very hot weather. So we may even get some damage there. The, the only good thing about a heat wave is for rice growing in, in our area and we have a lot of rice and it won't even help the cotton growers. So there is a problem with this prolonged uh, area time of uh, hot weather. What is the overall feeling in the community about this upcoming heat wave? Well it's depressing because uh, particularly in, in the wine grapes industry we, we had uh, in mid-November what is referred to as a black frost came through and caused an enormous amount of damage where tens of thousands of tons of uh, wine grapes just virtually shriveled up. Now we get this heat wave. Uh, a lot of farmers are saying what next you know because it's 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 really really difficult we have depressed prices so all in all uh the future for grapes wine grapes in particular doesn't look all that bright isn't this just normal for summer though not not normal for such a prolonged period we, we do have one or two days that have mid-30 and one will bounce up into the 40s but not prolonged like, like it's forecast at the moment. I know a lot of farmers are doing what I'm doing, listening to all the weather forecasts and is it really for a week? It appears it looks like we're going to get it and uh, you know we're just now doing all we can but we have to sit back and see what the end result will be of this uh, heat wave. With 40 degrees tomorrow, 42, 43, the days after that, what are you going to be doing to keep cool? I'm going to be looking for an air conditioner and I'll probably have a nice scotch whiskey because I tell you, I'll, I'll be depressed if, the, if that is the case because we've done all we can. Um, but yeah, it's depressing that it's so close to harvest and we get this week. Let's just hope and pray that we don't have a lot of damage. John Dalbroy, many thanks for your time. Pleasure.